So this uh, case involves our nine-year-old patient who was diagnosed with Seaver's disease. He was placed into a boot for four weeks, and he had a referral to PT with instructions to gradually wean out of his boot to weight bearing as tolerated. Initially, he presented with uh, less than 10 degrees of dorsiflexion for his range of motion uh, for gastroc length testing. And so he, it was a pretty significant restriction in his uh, heel cord length. It was painful for him to complete a heel raise initially. He was point uh, tender at his Achilles insertion into his heel, and he was mildly tender directly over his Achilles tendon, so he may have had uh, some involvement of uh, Achille an Achilles tendinopathy as well. Uh, he generally just had that irritation directly over the insertion over the heel, and he did pretty well uh, with testing and palpation along his Achilles tendon. And he also presented when he transitioned out of the boot, he had that typical antalgic gait pattern, uh, locking his knee into extension, having his foot turned out, and not allowing a lot of weight bearing uh, onto his uh, right lower extremity. He uh, was presenting with a lot of decreased stance time on that leg and could, would quickly transition from his right leg to his left leg to decrease the amount of stress going through his ankle. So what we worked on first, we wanted to have our treatment focus be to decrease pain first and then increase his function. So with decreasing pain, we did use gel heel cups and we instructed him to wear those in all of the shoes that he was wearing. We did tell him, however, that they weren't to be going into his soccer cleats because we wanted him to avoid athletic activity at that time. We completed some heel taping. Uh, this was done to decrease the pull of the Achilles over the calcaneus. And we also completed ice massage. This was great for him to do because he didn't like doing icing. Uh, his mother had mentioned that they tried to do ice packs on his heel uh, up to 10 to 15 minutes and he really didn't like doing that. So I talked to him about trying to do an ice massage uh, with an ice cup and being able to massage that area for just five minutes. It was a little more intense cold, but he didn't have to do it for very long and he was much more satisfied uh, with being able to do it that way. Uh, I told him to do that at night so that way he was having a little bit of discomfort possibly from being increased uh, weight bearing on his legs through the day and we did it at night to reduce the symptoms before going to bed. Mm -hmm.